let's check our homework which we which i asked you to solve yesterday we are on page 200 423 today is 9th of i ask you to solve 8 11 and 12 let's start with question 8 now in question 8 we need to graph or solve this system by graphing y more than 2 and what x less than negative 2 now we said we turn them to equations yeah the first one y equal to do i need intercepts to graph this line no the second one y x x equal negative two also i don't need you can graph directly if you have one variable x or y so you can graph directly okay now y is 2 we will go to the y at 2 do we have equal sign here no so the line will be what points discrete points cutting y axis at mean at 2 done now let's shade okay we test mean 0 0 right this x and this what y here i have only y so i replace y by what by zero is zero more than two no so this region the lower one which has zero zero is not the solution the solution will be the upper one got it you understand but i will use Red color for the second one. X less than negative two. X equal negative two. This is the negative two at X, right? X negative two. So we'll go to the negative two. Do we have equal sign here? No. So the line will be what? Discrete also. Now, let's check the zero, zero also. So X here is what? zero come here put x zero is zero less than negative two come on no so the region with zero zero all this region all this region is not the solution right it will be the opposite one you understand this now after i did this after i do this i will search about the common area the area with the two colors, the area with which the two inequalities share, right? Where are they? It is here at the corner, right? It is here at the corner. What does this mean? Focus now. This means any point here is a solution for both inequality. Any point here solution only for the second inequality the red one any point here solution for the first inequality but any point here not solution for both of them done you understand this is a question eight up is this area ending here no this is forever guys don't forget that forever forever huh? Done. This is question eight. Do you understand it? Done. Question eight. Done. After question eight, we have question eleven. Yeah, question eleven. X plus Y. Yeah, negative one and more than or equal three. Yeah, let's solve. X plus Y equal negative one, right? If X equals zero, Y will be negative one. If Y equals zero, X also is negative one, right? The second one, X plus Y equal three. If X equals zero, Y will be three. 
If y equals zero, x also three. After you find the intercepts, you are ready to graph. Start with the first one. X is negative one and y is negative one. This is negative one for x. You know, I'll use different colors. I'll use the blue for the first one. So this is negative one. And this is, x is negative one and y also is negative one, right? And we have equal sign here. So the line will be normal line, continuous line. No points, no gapping. Okay? You understand? Now let's check. Let's test. We'll test me, Hakana. Zero, zero. In the first inequality, replace x by zero and y by zero. Zero plus zero, zero. Is zero less than negative one? Is zero less than negative one? No, zero is bigger. So all the region, the upper one with zero, zero, won't be the solution. The solution will be the other one. Done? Okay. So I will use the red for the second one. The second one, x is a three and y is a three. This is x a three. And y is what? Three. And I have equal sign, so my line will be continuous line. But let's test the zero, zero. Zero plus zero, zero. Is zero more than three? No. So the upper one will be the solution. Do we have equal sign? Uh, sorry, do we have common area? Common means here and here, huh? Do we have common area? No. So here what we say? No solutions. No solutions for the system together, but for each inequality we have solutions, okay? Copy this or fix your answers if you have mistakes. Done, guys. <clears throat> Question twelve. <clears throat> Question twelve. We have y minus x more than four and x plus y more than two. No equal sign, huh? Yeah. Same steps, same idea. Y minus X equal four. If X equals zero, Y will be what? Four. If Y equals zero, if Y equals zero, we have negative X equal four. Divide by negative, X will be what? Negative four. This is the first one. Okay, the second one, X plus Y equal two. If X equals zero, Y equal two. If y equals zero, x equal two also, right? Replace x by zero and find y, replace y by zero and find x. <coughs> Sorry. Right. Now let's graph. Let's graph. Okay, the first one, let's use the red with x. The first one, four and negative four. X is negative four, this is negative four. And y is four, this is y four. Okay, we don't have equal sign means this is discrete points line. Okay, let's guess or test mean zero, zero. What in place zero minus zero zero is zero more than four? No. So the region with zero zero is not the solution. Huh? The upper region is the solution. You understand? Right. 
let's use the blue one for the other solution. Two and two. X is two, Y is two. This is two, and this is two. And we don't have equal signs, so it will be line. Discrete lines. Okay. Now, test zero, zero. Put zero here and zero here. Zero plus zero, zero. Is zero more than two? No. Means the region with zero, zero down, it's not the solution. The solution will be up. Don't stop here, continue. Huh? Um, so we have like triangle here up, see it? This one, this one is the solution. This one here is the solution area for both. Taban what for forever. Don't forget that. So any point here in the blue solution for the second one in the red. For the first one, here for both, up here for none. Got it? Do you understand? Do you understand how we solve system of inequalities by graphing? Do you copy it? So now we are in this. In the test of practice, page four hundred twenty six. Let's start with the question one directly. Huh? In question one, let's remember the idea. If we have lines with equations, huh? now we said each linear equation has a graph, right? And its graph is a line. Check. Each linear equation has a line, has a graph, and the graph is a line. Now, if you have two equations, so you have two lines, right? Now, these two lines, if they are intersected with one point, Then we have one solution, right? So, remember? And these two lines, if they are parallel, then we have no, no intersections, right? And these two lines, if they are over each other, means they are the same line, so we have infinitely many solutions. Remember, we have three cases, right? Now, let's see question one. In question one, I will graph it on the board. I will graph it on the board. So we have coordinate plane like this. Focus, guys. And we have here two lines, something like this, right? So when you can see it from your book, And we have a line like this, so this is x-axis, this is y-axis, right? Here, this line here, they wrote y equal to 3, right? And this line here, they wrote 2x, y equal 2x plus 1. And this line here, y equal y plus 2 equal 2x, right? And we have another line like this. And here they wrote what x equal two. So how many lines we have? Where? Uh, here. Here, right? X equal negative two, right? So how many lines we have? This is the x axis, this is the y axis. We have one two, three, four, five. 
We have five lines. One, two, three, four, five. Yes? But use the graph. Which system of equations are consistent and independent? Remember? Consistent means what? Has one solution. So, independent. So, which one? Has one solution. Part A, y equal to x plus 1, y plus 2 equal to x. Where is y equal to x plus 1? This one, right? And y equal, y plus 2 equal to x, this one. They are parallel. Parallel means no solutions. The second one, y equal to x plus 1, and y equal 3. This one and this one. They intersected with one point, right? What this mean? One solution, right? Consistent and independent. Let's remember the two definitions. It is in the first lesson, guys. I will back just to be sure. To be honest, I forget. The first lesson in this module. The page 387. You can check the definitions there. A system of equations is consistent if it has at least one order pair that satisfies both equations. We have at least one solution, right? So, in, in part B, independent if the question if the uh, system has exactly one solution. Has exactly one solution and at least one. So, yeah, I know. I'll be like, which of them? Which systems? Not which system. How many systems in the question they wrote for me? A, B, C, D, E, right? The question said, which systems? So, part mean, ahna, B. Part B is correct. But let's see part C. Part C, y equal 3 and x equal negative 2. It has one solution, right? Intersected with one point here, right? So part C is correct also. Part D, x equal 2. This is x equal 2 here. And y plus 2 equal to x. Yeah, they intersected here, one point. So part D also is correct. But how about part E? x equal to and x equal negative 2 parallel part e is not included in the solutions do you understand this question fine question two practice the question two what the question says in question two consider the system of equation given huh? Not in a system of equations. How many solutions are there? Does the question ask me to solve the system? No. The question asks me what? To know how many solutions, which is totally different two types of questions. Logically solve, use elimination or substitution. As the question here said, how many solutions for the system? Is the system dependent or independent? Dependent means infinitely many solutions, remember? Independent means exactly that. Do you know, remember, we took this idea before. We need to find the slopes to see parallel, not parallel. Huh? Yeah, let's see. Question two. We have 8x plus 2y equal 8 and y equal minus 4x plus what? 4. From equation 1, can I know the slope? No, it's not ready. But from equation 2, what we call this form? Slope intercept form. In a slope intercept form, we can know the slope, we can know the y intercept, so but let's prepare equation 1 so I can know the slope from x. So 2y equal negative 8x plus 8, right? I will divide in two both sides. So y equal negative 4x plus 4. 
which is same line, right? Same line, same equation means the two lines are over each other, means infinitely many solutions. So it is dependent or independent. So here we will answer the question into two parts. We will say infinitely many solutions because the question asked me how many solutions and tell me if it's dependent or independent, right? So first step or first part of the solution will say infinitely many solutions, right? And the second part, dependent or independent? Dependent system. Depend. Depend. Shuhara. Dependent. Right? Do you understand the idea? So, let's see question three. <clears throat> Guys, you need to copy by steps, huh? Copy by steps. Use your copy book or you can use your book, but please copy the steps. Which system of equations can be entered into a graph and calculated to solve? The part uh, 3.5x plus 18, negative 5.x plus 30. Part B, the correct answer is part B. Yani how will you make this equation 3.5x plus 18 equal negative 5.x plus 30, right? Hello, we can solve this equation normally. We can shift the x's together, the numbers together, and solve, right? But the question wants me to turn this equation into system, right? Which system do you have? Which system do you have? Which system do you have? Move, enter, enter. Yalla, yalla, move. Move. Now, in part B, the two equations are equal, right? The two equations are what? Are equal. So, part one, this, to the left side, they call it Y. The right side should be what? The two parts are equal, so. The right part, I call it Y. So, the, the second part should be what? Y, ما هو equal. So, طلع على part B. Part B, they said Y equal 3.5X plus 18, which is the left side. And y equal negative 5.8x plus 30, which is the right side. This is system and it is valid, right? So part B, the solution. Question four. New system of equation. Let's solve it. Question four, they want the solution, huh? They want the answer, okay, of x. Let's solve it. Question four. We have 6.9x plus 4.3 plus 4.3 equal 4.7x plus what? Normal equation, let's solve it. Yeah, shift the x's together, 6.9 x minus 4.7 x equal 8 minus what? 4.3, right? 6.9 minus 4.7, 2.2, so 2.2 x equal 8 minus 4.3. Huh? طلعت معك انت لحالك بلس من دون الكوكب كله يعني الكوكب كله لما يعمل شيفت 4.3 هير تقول بي نيجاتيف الا انت تطلع معك بلس 8 4.3 3.7 رايت 3. طب اي وونت اكس ديفايد باي 2.2 ديفايد باي 2.2 نشيك اكس ويل بي 3.7 ديفايد باي 2.2 ليتس يوز كالكوليتر
3.7 divided by 2.2, it is 1.68, right? Do we have something like that? Yes. Yeah. 1.68, which is part B. Ah, but atfal, atfal, wallah. جيب لكم ألعاب هيك تلعبوا فيها المرة الجاية عشان تتسلوا This is part 4 You understand it طب part 5 What we طيب اوبن ريسبونس تايا شو هاي؟ تايلاند 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 از سيلينج بلاستيك اند وودن فريمز وي هاف تو تايبس بلاستيك اند وودن فريمز اوكي؟ هي سولد سبع توتال فريمز سبع يعني بلاستيك وودن بوث توجذر قد ايه؟ Seven. Right. The number of plastic frames Thailand sold was five, less than twice the number of the wooden frames. Okay. How many of each type of a frame did Thailand sell? Right. Do we know the how many frames from each type? Let X be the wooden. Let Y be the plastic. Okay. Yeah. So question five. Let X be what the wooden frame and let Y be what the plastic frame. Done? The first information the question said that the total frames are what is what means X plus Y equal what? Equal seven. This is equation one. Equation two, continue reading the question. The question said. The question said, the number of plastic frames, which is what? The plastic, احنا سمينا مين? Y. We'll look why. The number of plastic frames Thailand sold was five less than twice the number of wooden frames. إيش الوودن? X. Twice X. Two X. If you subtract five from it, it will be the wooden, which is what? Uh, sorry, it will be the plastic, which is what? You understand? Less than, if you remember, we switch. If I, a, if I say A less than B means B minus A, right? Remember? Do you understand? So we have the second equation now. But let's solve it. How is we going to solve it? You have two ways. You have substitution, you have elimination. What do you want to use? Elimination. If you want elimination, you need to arrange it. The x is together, the y, the x is over each other, the y is over each other, and the numbers over each other on the other side. Okay. So you need to, if you want, if you want, if you want elimination, x x y should be y under. Okay. Number should be number under. Done. But you can use substitution here. You can shift the y. X will be what? Seven minus y, right? Is it an R? Up the home. Sah? Yeah. Substitute here. Two x minus five equal y. Hey, two by sorry. Hagda kalyan yesterday. Yeah. 2x, x I prepared it, how much? 7 minus y. طبعاً y equal 2x minus 5, you can replace it directly here. We have a lot of ways, right? Yeah, 2x, x how much? And 7 minus y, continue. Minus 5 equal what? y. Now you have equation with one variable, you can solve it. 14 minus 2y minus 5 equal what? 
shift the y here, shift the numbers there, right? Minus 2y, minus y, minus 3y, right? Shift the negative 5 here, positive 5. Will 14, positive 14. Come. لا minus five uh, plus five minus fourteen كم minus nine صح أنت اللي أنا ماليش دخل divide by minus three divide by minus three so y is how much positive three it won't be negative if y or x you have negative values this is incorrect y what's x at originally what's x the number of the friends of the wooden friends. Cancel negative? No. So here x is y, y how much? Three means she sold how many plastic? Three. Top how many uh, still for uh, the x? Four. Four. Total home cam, seven. Replace y by three. X plus three equals seven. Shift the three. Seven minus three will be what? Four. So X is how much here? Four. So she sold four wooden frames and three wooden, uh, sorry, three plastic frames. You understand? Are you sure? I want to say something, but I forget it. Your homework for today is. Guys, the online, select your homework. We did the question one, two, three, four, and five. Question six, select the mail in your home. Question seven. Question nine. Okay. Question twelve. The cafe. The cafe. Again. Again, guys. Question six, seven, nine, and the twelve. Okay. This is your homework for today. Practice on them. Tomorrow you will be online. We will we will do these questions so you can check your answers. Okay. Thank you so much. See you tomorrow.